Hi there, in this video I'm going to go through the scalar or sometimes referred to as the dot product. Okay, so here's the so let's call this scalar or dot product. So basically, if you're given uh, two vectors a and b, say, so given the vectors a and b, okay, then the scalar, and it's commonly referred to as the dot product of a and b, okay, and you would write that as a dot b, so that is why they call that the dot product, okay, so you would write that as a dot b, and in order to calculate a dot b, okay, so that's given by, so to work out a dot b, it's the modulus of a times the modulus of the vector b times the cosine of the angle between them. Okay, so theta is the angle between the vectors a and b. Okay, so let's underline that. So that is the scalar or the dot product. Okay, so you could also highlight that result. Okay, so you could have the diagram. So supposing you have vectors a and b, theta in the formula is the angle between the vectors. Okay, so that was that is what theta here is about. So theta is the angle between the vectors a and b. Okay. So, however, supposing you have two vectors. So if you're given a vector v1, which is defined by a1i plus b1j plus c1k and a vector v2 so v2 is a2i plus b2j plus c2k okay so if you have two vectors in in these forms to calculate v1 dot v2 so v1 is a1i plus b1j plus c1k dotted with v2 which is a2i plus b2j plus c2k okay so in order to calculate the dot product here what you have to do is multiply the i coefficients j coefficients and k coefficients and then add them together Okay, so if I multiply the i coefficients, it's a1 times a2, which is a1, a2, and then you add, okay, then multiply the j coefficients, so b1 times b2, b1, b2, and then again you add, and then multiply the k coefficients, so c1 times c2, c1, c2. Okay, so all you do here is multiply the coefficients of i, then add, then multiply the coefficients of j, then add, then multiply the coefficients of k. Okay, um, this is because if you take the dot product of i with i, you're going to have 1. Okay, and if you take the dot product of j with j, you'll have one also. And if you take the dot product of k with k, you get one, okay? So if you, in other words, take the scalar or dot product of two of the same vectors, the answer is going to be one. However, if you take the scalar or dot product of two different uh, vectors or components, the answer is zero. So i dot j is zero, okay? Similarly, i dot k, that is zero, okay? Uh, and k dot j, so two different components when you take the scalar product, it's gonna be zero. Okay. So let's have a look at some examples. 
So, uh, example number one. So, in this example, uh, let's find, so the question is to find A dot B, okay, uh, and the cosine of the angle between A and B if, and let me call this part A of this example, so the vector A is given by 2i uh, minus j plus 5k and the vector b that is given by minus 3i uh, plus 5j minus 7k okay so let's have a go at this so we need to find a dot b and the cosine of the angle means we need to calculate cos of the angle. So we're going to be calculating cos of theta um, using, so let's go back, using this formula over here uh, as explained in the previous video. So to find a dot b, I'm going to use uh, this result over here. So to work out the dot product, all you do is multiply the coefficients of i, j, and k and then add them together okay so let's work out a dot b first so so a dot b so the vector a is 2i minus j plus 5k okay uh, dotted with uh, the vector b which is defined by 3i minus uh, plus 5j uh, minus 7k so remember what we do we need to multiply the coefficients of i so it's 2 times minus 3 so 2 into minus 3 then we add okay then multiply the coefficients of j so coefficients of j are minus 1 here times plus 5 so minus 1 times plus 5, then we add, then multiply the coefficients of k, which are plus 5 times minus 7, so plus 5 into minus 7, okay? So let's simplify this, so when we simplify, 2 times minus 3 is minus 6, minus 1 times 5, minus 5, 7 times uh, minus 7 times 5 rather is minus 35 so that is going to give us minus 46 okay so that is uh, a dot b okay so uh, in this case that is the first part of the problem to work out a dot b so in in the next stage we need to work out uh, the cosine of the angle between A and B. Now, if we go back to the results, to work out the cosine of the angle, okay, we need to work out the modulus of A and the modulus of B. So this formula requires the modulus of A and the modulus of B, as well as A dot B that we worked out in the uh, first part of the problem, okay? So let's continue. So let's work out firstly the modulus of A. So that's the square root of coefficient of I is 2 in A, so 2 squared, plus coefficient of J is minus 1, so minus 1 squared, plus coefficient of K is 5, so 5 squared. Okay. So um, if we simplify this, let's have a look. So, uh, root of 2 squared is 4, minus 1 squared plus 1, 5 squared, 25. 
So I'm going to leave it as square root of 30. So that is the modulus of 8, root 30. Okay. So in the same way, let's work out the modulus of B. So square root of, so in B, coefficient of I is minus 3, so minus 3 squared, plus coefficient of J is 5, so 5 squared, plus coefficient of K minus 7, so minus 7 squared. So if we simplify, we're going to have the root of minus 3 squared, which is 9, Okay, uh, 5 squared being 25, minus 7 squared being plus 49. So simplifying further, you, we should have the square root of uh, 83. Okay, so that is going to be the modulus of B. So now we, we're ready to use the formula. So we have A dot B, so A dot B we've got minus 46, we have the modulus of A, that is square root of 30, we have the modulus of B, that is the square root of 83. So now we just need to apply this formula to work out cos theta. So the question is to work out the cosine of the angle, which means cos theta, okay? So using the formula A dot B, that is the modulus of A, times the modulus of B times cos theta. So if we rearrange, cos theta is A dot B, okay, divided by uh, the modulus of A times the modulus of B. So if I substitute the results from the previous stages, A dot B, we had minus 46, so minus 46 divided by uh, the modulus of A is root 30 and the modulus of B uh, we've got root 83 okay so uh, in this case we can simplify this okay so uh, to give giving us root uh, minus 46 over um, root of 2490 okay 